Okay, in this video I want to talk a little bit about equations of lines. Um, this is definitely something that by the time you've gotten to an IB class that you should be very familiar with this. Um, the only thing that you might not be familiar with is that in IB they will use the word gradient um, and that that's just the slope of the line. Um, so whenever you see the word gradient, don't freak out, it just means slope. Um, so let's say we've got, um, the, well, the, well there's one way I like to do, um, do some of these, let's say I'm, my birthday is 617 and my sister's birthday is 129, but let's just make it negative 9. Um, so let's say that, um, there we go, sorry, I'm adjusting, I usually film at school and today I'm filming at home. Okay, so let's say I've got this point A and this point B and I want to write the equation of the line, um, I wrote an A, you just couldn't see it, there it is. Um, I want to find the equation of lines. So you know that the gradient formula, or the slope formula, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or you could think of that as rise over run, or you could think of that as delta y over delta, that's a triangle, that delta means um, change in. Okay, so I'm going to take the change in my y values, negative 9 minus 17, over 12 minus 6 is equal to, what is that? That's annoying. Um, negative 26 over 6. Okay, um, so, correct? Yes. Um, so this is my slope. That's a negative 13 over 2 goes in there, 13, 2 goes in there three times. Um, now, our goal is either to get it into, well, we always, in the United States, we always called it slope-intercept form. But if we're talking, um, I, in the IB world, they would say um, gradient instead of slope. So they'd say intercept gradient form, um, that y equals mx plus v. They're calling this, here's the gradient of the line, no longer the slope, and this is the y-intercept. Or you could have the standard form where a, b, and c are all integers. Um, so what I like to do, when I have something like this, um, Okay, pause. So we also have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 that you can use and plug everything in and so I can find the equation of the line. I'm expecting this to be a review. Um, I had a point, one of them was 617. So I can say um, y minus 17 is equal to negative 13 over 3 times x minus 6. Now that may or may not be a fun problem to solve. This one isn't too bad because you're dealing with um, a number, you know, values that, that cancel and, and so that cleans up. But what, um, so feel free to continue this way and get it into whichever form you like. Let me show you what I like to do sometimes and that's I take the gradient, I'm trying to use that word, um, formula, y minus y1 over x minus x1 and set that equal to the, 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 the gradient. Um, so what I could say here is it's y minus 17 over x minus 6 is equal to negative 13 over 3. And now I cross multiply. Um, and so this puts me in a position, I have this, what, 3y minus, oh dear, 30, 21, um, 51 is equal to negative 13, um, x, what is that, 6 times 13, 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 3 is 18, so 78. If, if my arithmetic's off, I'm sorry, I'm on summer and I'm not thinking in those terms. Okay, so then I can, from here, I can decide pretty easily if I want to go to this form or if I want to go to that form. Um, and so that's the advantage of, of using um, the slope or the, the gradient formula and just plugging things in. Um, because I don't deal with fractions until I, if I decide to divide through, um, then I get, well, okay, so I have this 3y is equal to negative 13x, um, 51 plus, I didn't pick easy numbers, um, what is that, 129? Okay, and now I can divide by 3, or, and that puts me, um, y is equal to negative 13 thirds x plus 129 over 3, um, What is that goes in 43 times 
Um, so there's your gradient intercept or intercept gradient form or whatever the book's going to call it. The other option is to move this to the other side. And so then I have this 13x plus 3y equals 129. And that's um, that form ax plus by equals c. So that's, you just need to practice a few um, because you should already be really comfortable with this. Um, another thing real fast because it's not worth the second video. Um, they, there's some problems in the book that'll say um, find C when, I don't know, negative 1, 2 is on the line 3x minus 4 or plus 4y equals C. Okay, so I could just plug this in um, and then we have this 3 times negative 1 plus 4 times 2 is equal to C. Therefore, C is 5. So the equation of that line would be 3x plus 4y equals 5. The line 3x plus 4y equals 5 would pass through that point. Okay, um, take a little bit of time to practice these. There's a few questions in the book that I thought were clever. So I thought they went beyond what you would have expected in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 with lines. Um, so don't skip the problems because you think you know what you're doing refresh to go through make sure kind of strengthen those muscles again dust off the cobwebs and we will keep working